In this video I show you 6 really ingenious tricks with baby oil that everyone should know, so be sure to watch the video to the end. Let's get straight to trick number 1. You can use baby oil in your shower on the tiles so that lime scale and dirt don't build up so quickly. But you only need a very small amount of baby oil and a normal household cloth. Put a small amount on the cloth and start wiping all the tiles in your shower. As I said, it should never be too much. Otherwise, there is a risk that all the oil will settle on the floor and you could slip in the shower. That's why you should pay attention to it. Now spread it very well on the walls of your shower so that there is a very thin layer of baby oil everywhere. This means that it should not run down here at all and when you wipe it with your fingers, it should not be very greasy. This small layer is already enough. This is because you are now sealing the tiles in your shower and dirt and lime scale should no longer be deposited so quickly. You would then also see that the water beats up on them. This means that water no longer settles on the tiles but runs straight down. This lasts for some time. After about 2 to 3 weeks depending on how often you use the shower you have to replace the whole thing. But this way you can make sure that you don't have to clean the shower so often and above all that lime scale stains don't form so quickly. So try it out for yourself too. And then we come to our second trick. You can also use baby oil in the bathroom, namely in your toilet roll. Because baby oil has a very nice smell. You can make your bathroom smell much nicer with the help of your toilet roll. You take the toilet roll off the holder and make sure that you put a little bit of the baby oil into this piece of cardboard or into the inner cardboard of the toilet paper. I've used a lot but it doesn't really have to be that much. I make sure that it spreads a little bit but that it doesn't necessarily get on the toilet paper. So it should only be in this cardboard roll. Then you can put the toilet roll back on the holder and every time you take a piece of toilet paper the friction creates this pleasant smell. Let's move on to trick number 3, which not many people know. You can also use baby oil in your stainless steel sink and that really has an advantage, especially visually. But first you should make sure that the sink is completely clean. You can use baking soda and vinegar for this. I put a small amount of baking soda in a bowl and add a little vinegar. It shouldn't be so much that the mixture is liquid at the end. It should be such a nice paste as you can see the whole thing here with me now. Then start rubbing this paste all over the sink so that there is some everywhere. If you don't have any baking soda at home, you can also get it from my shop. You can find the link below in the video description. I have now rubbed the whole thing with this mixture. Now I wait about 20 minutes, grab a damp cloth and start wiping all over. You'll soon see that even stop on lime scale stains are removed from the sink here. In the end, the sink is really clean everywhere and of course it looks much cleaner than before. But then we come to the trick with the baby oil. After you have wiped the sink completely dry, you can apply the baby oil here. I'll now show you how and what the benefits are. All we need is baby oil and, again, a piece of household cloth. We put a small amount of baby oil on the cloth and start rubbing it all over the sink. You should distribute it so that there is only a small amount of baby oil everywhere. It should not run down anywhere and there should not really be much oil in all the places. Only this small layer is enough to remove even small scratches and the sink will shine much more than before. With the baby oil you can make your sink look like new again. The end result is really something to behold. So why don't you try it out for yourself too? You should renew the whole thing every few weeks when it no longer looks as nice as you can see here. This trick works wonderful on stainless steel, so you should only do it on stainless steel sinks. And since it works on stainless steel, it also works on other stainless steel surfaces, such as the oven. Here it also has another advantage, which I would like to present to you now. Here too you take a cloth or a piece of household roll, put a small amount of baby oil on it and after you have wiped these stainless steel surfaces on your oven and made them dry, you can rub them with baby oil here too. However, as before, make sure that it is only a very small amount at a time. 
Once you have rubbed the whole thing in, you will immediately see that all the stainless steel surfaces look much nicer. They look as if they were new again and it has another advantage. Fingerprints no longer settle here. You have sealed the surface a little with the baby oil and in the same way there is no more lime scale or water stains which then cause lime scale. Not only does it look much better for the moment, but you also have a long lasting effect that ensures that you don't have to clean your oven or the entire oven surfaces so quickly. In trick number 5 we use baby oil on our car. Because you can also treat it with baby oil. Again you put a very small amount of baby oil on a cloth and now you can use it to wipe off the trim or general plastic surfaces on your car. You will see that after a short time they will look as if they were new again. That is all the plastic now looks much blacker and much more intense than before. The plastic fades over time especially in the sun so you can get it looking really fresh again and the whole thing works not only outside the car but also inside the car for example on the seat. I have now rubbed a small side of this and you can clearly see the difference between before and after. And so you can rub all surfaces with baby oil and make them look like new again. And of course this also works on the cockpit and everywhere where plastic parts are installed. Again make sure that you only use a very small amount of baby oil because it is definitely enough. And that brings us to our last trick. You probably know it when you have a plaster on your skin for example after taking blood or when you have a large plaster on your skin. Pulling off the plaster is always the most unpleasant thing. Especially if there is hair under the plaster. Because of course you tear it out. Are you the type who just pulls the plaster off quickly or do you do it slowly? Both are very unpleasant but you can get around it with a little baby oil. Grab some baby oil and a cloth as usual. Put some of the baby oil on it and then we can go straight to our plaster. Because what we want to do now is to soften the plaster with the baby oil because the plaster sticks because of the glue and we can loosen this with some baby oil. To do this of course we should soak the plaster completely with the baby oil. Now make sure that you apply the baby oil to the places where the plaster sticks to your skin. You can also press the cloth on it for a short time so that the oil can really soak in. And then you can see that I can remove the plaster really quickly and easily. The adhesive has come off completely thanks to the baby oil. Now I just put my finger in here and the plaster is practically already off and only hangs here by a thread which I can now pull off easily. That way you don't have any more pain when you tear off the plaster. Those were all the tricks with baby oil. Do you know any more? Feel free to write them in the comments. Would you also like to know what you should definitely pour down your drain every two months? Then watch the video that I'm linking to you here. You would make me really happy if you click the like button and subscribe to my channel.